Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Scorpio. And keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms, and you can also find me on Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go help me reach the next goal on Ko-Fi. And if you'd like to make a donation, feel free to do so. So Scorpio. Let's see what's fallen out for you. We have number 32 with Egg Moon Trust. So the Egg Moon was like in spring, but it's telling you to have trust. Alright. Number 23 with Last Quarter Moon with Gratitude. I feel like things that you asked for, like the spring, Scorpio, that's that's coming in. And I feel like there's a need to have a gratitude for. Let's see more. So Scorpio. Number four with waxing crescent number two with acceptance. All right, I feel like you're accepting it. You're accepting something coming towards you that I feel like you've asked for. I feel like there's, there's like a, a gratitude for it. Number three with waxing crescent number one with realization. I feel like you're I feel like you're having realizations of it, Scorpio. You're accepting it and you're having gratitude for it. It's like a sudden realization. We have number two with new moon beginnings. It's a beginning. It's some sort of new beginning that you've asked for. It's happening. Number 35 with thunder moon change. This last thunder moon we had, which was the last full moon we just had in this month, is bringing in a lot of change. It's bringing in a new beginning. Number 29 with wolf moon with hunger. Wolf moon is in January. Number seven with waxing crescent number five with nourishment. There's nourishment coming your way, Scorpio. So you being more nourished, you being healthier, you being stable and prosperous. Alright? So what do we want to read? Cut a new moon at beginnings. Have a new beginning, Scorpio. You are offered a fresh start. Your journey is beginning. Take the first step towards something new. It is time to place an emphasis on your health and well being. I accept and rejoice in renewal and beginnings. There is something incredibly poetic, even romantic, about the tiny sliver of silver. That is the new moon. After the waning cycle and depth of the dark moon, here is appearing in the sky, incredibly, a crescent of the finest light, almost a scratch upon the black void of the universe. Here is evidence that even after the darkest night, light returns again. The crescent of the new moon is an ancient symbol that stretches back to ancient pre history. There are cave drawings featuring crescent moons, sculptures of goddesses in crescent moon diadems, even the goddesses Aphrodite, Kate, Diana, Artemis, and, and many Central Asian female deities were often depicted with new moon symbology. Go back even further paintings or moon and sun symbology features with no phase more commonly being depicted than the new moon. And a new moon appears in the lunar cycle. We are gifted with a new beginning and a fresh start. What we have identified as useless or unneeded anymore has been released into the void of the dark moon. And here waiting is a new chance. Here we get to renew our lives and feel free enough to try to risk again. Weather. We are asking for a fresh start in a relationship or a new love, or heralding the auctioning of intentions such as better health, a new business, or the start of a new project, writing the new moon energy will assist us. Many creative people start new works on the new moon. Says, opinion stone or metal is celestine. Alright, so, let's go for those messages for you. Right, so trust yourself. have oh that's Aquarius is planet all right so we have the rest. you know we have the rose it's gonna be the heart chakra rose can be for romance we have Aries all right so you have those placements in your chart or one around you justice we have Sun God Ra which you're connected to have the dragon moon which can be a symbol of Kuan Yin you have communication coming forward and their success, there's justice. So, can be with an Aries, some of the Aries placements? Scorpio? 
Sagittarius Aquarius. So, that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also go on my Etsy shop, go on there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. You can also find the extended down below in the comments. And if you want to see more content, I hope you subscribe. Bye, guys.